Hey folks, and welcome to the Hypnotic Symposium for the 19th of December 2023. Uh, today we're just going to have a, a wee, just to, someone asked where I was sitting the other day, and uh, this is my son's room. He um, He's pretty good about letting me use it during the day. He's got a nice desk and a, and a really nice view. I'll let you see the view quickly. It's pretty nice there. A really, really nice view. So I like it, sitting here and enjoying the view over the rice fields. Uh, I hope none of, none of you got motion sickness when I moved it around like that. It's uh, it's very, very beautiful out there. So I like to sit here with clean windows and uh, and enjoy the view. It's all green. I remember I, we lived on um, in Copenhagen on uh, Vestborga, just opposite like uh, the city museum, Pumosur. And, and I would look out of the window and I would just like imagine living somewhere once where the view would be completely green um, and that's uh, certainly what's happened now I mean everything everywhere you look here it's green 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 so it goes to show that if you if you want something that bad and you imagine it uh, for long enough that it certainly happens anyway so today we're gonna we're gonna talk about the concept of um, areas of supply and demand consuming opposing supply and demand and what this means and we're just gonna walk through a ton of different examples and and slowly slowly move through because this is a super super important concept that i think maybe eludes uh, people and i used to talk a lot about this but now i maybe assume that people already know um, what it means and why it's important but i i don't think i can i can assume so i just want to re reiterate this because it's really really important and the reason it's important to identify areas of supply and demand that are responsible for consuming opposing supply and demand is because it shows you that there is a strength on one side of the market, it also shows us that we have uh, we have enough um, demand on from a specific area to consume the available supply on the other side of the market. So that tells us that there's an imbalance because if you have an area of supply and prices are able to move through it, that means that the demand was greater than the su available supply and it consumed it. Okay, so that is also telling us about the thin side of the market relative to the thick side of the market. So let's just kind of uh, walk through that a little by a little by little okay so what I like to do and this is all programmed into the software as well but what I like to do is I like to find areas that have been oops, that have been respected Let me do that again that didn't work very well okay so I have an area here that's been respected okay and the reason I know it's been respected is because well that it's been tested we had an area here, price is turned once, twice, three times. Okay, so that's telling us that there is there is demand here. There is more demand than there is a supply. We have selling. The selling pressure is not enough to consume uh, the available uh, inventory below price. Okay, and so you'll see this prices bounce. Okay, this is what support and resistance is. You have, you have uh, a liquidity in the market. You have people who are buying and who are selling. Uh, and it's a constant balance, you know, where you have um, sometimes there's a lot of buying and there's just a little bit of supply. And so this will cause prices to move to move higher. And other times there's going to be a lot of selling and there's going to be a little bit of liquidity available on the opposite side of the market. And so prices are going to go down. So it's showing us a little bit about where we have these price imbalances. Um, and then we have here, we have this one here, it was tested once, twice, three times, and now it's gone. And then you ask yourself the question, what's the origin of the bar that caused prices to uh, to move through it? Well, if we focus, let me see if I, so here's the, the area just here. If we get another zone and we draw it off, I mean, this is pretty much the origin of that. This is the candle that kind of went through. This is the origin of the move that went through. It went through the zone here. The origin of that is here. Okay, so this one is now gone, and this is the one that's now working. Okay, as expected, price tests it. We react there. This is expected behavior, and if you work, if you move through price, a price chart. This is the one-minute chart, so we can see lots of examples. Um, but if you, if you move through a price chart in this way, it'll really give you a tremendous insight into how this works. And sometimes these zones, with well, this one held one test, two tests, three tests. And then it no longer held. And this is because uh, that constant shift in inventory and the demand for it is changing. Because if you, I mean, when people come to a shop, 
and they want to buy uh, telephones on the shelf and you have 10 telephones on the shelf eventually those 10 telephones will be depleted and then there'll be no telephones and then people will no longer come to the shop they'll go to a different shop okay and I like to use uh, an analogy using pancakes where we had a pancake here here and here and you have people coming in and they want to and, and they want pancakes okay and so they'll start to take pancakes we take the first one second one we kind of don't do anything here. We test something in here. And then we finally move through and consume all of these pancakes. So these are all gone. Okay, and this brings our attention to another area, which is down here. And this is the parent for this particular structure. This is the parent. This is the child. Okay, the price comes down to it. We go deeper and we go deeper. So these pancakes are now gone as well. But when we ate the last pancake, there was enough, there was enough shift in the, in the flow of liquidity between the buy and the sell side, that there was an imbalance which caused prices to move higher. That means that we managed to pick up something down here that was substantial enough to consume the liquidity that was above price. Okay, this is why prices move higher like this. So prices move higher. Where do they go? Well, we tested this once and now we test this one here. So now this one is gone. And so you ask yourself the question, Where's the origin of the move that caused this area of micro supply to be consumed? Well, it's right here. You can see it right here. Okay, you have a little price structure. You have the origin of this bar. Prices race up. And you can see here that we have a, a parent and child. So you'd probably put it like that. Okay, prices test the parent. Sorry, the child. Then they keep going higher. Okay, this is the one that's still holding. So we'll go like that. So this is one that we tested. We tested it. We test it again and again, and now it's gone. What area removed it? Well, you can see that this candle went through it. We had a small pullback to a sell zone. The price is cut away, cut through. So you go like that. Test, rejection, another test, bigger rejection. Okay, and then prices move down. And where do they go? Well, they're going to go <clears throat> to... The po supposing a sup uh, an opposite side of the market. We need to zoom out here because we need to f see. Yes, so here we've got this here. And this is demand. Let me mark it off. This is a buy zone. Tested once, tested twice, tested three times. So we went pretty far down. So let's mark off the low right here. Mark off that pair because this is, this is the beginning of the buy zone. Okay, because price goes deeper each time. Pancake gone on the top, second one gone, third gone, one gone. So now there's maybe something down in here. Maybe, maybe not. So when we look, when we look at this, price goes all the way down. You ask yourself, where does it go? Well, it's going to go to the next place where there are going to be pancakes. And if you look at the low here, the next test goes a little bit lower. Okay, and then we have a big rejection. What does that mean? Well, that means that maybe there was an in, somebody introduced um, maybe a limit order or maybe there was a new liquidity that entered the market at this price point. And you can see this because prices tested this child, this being the parent here. We tested and now we went deeper. We saw a good reaction. And then the same thing happens over and over again where we have, where do we have, where do we have reactions? We have reactions here. How do we know that? Sorry, we have supply here. How do we know we have supply there? Because we had a test it failed. Another test failed. We went all the way through it. What's the origin of the move that caused price to move down there or through this area of supply? It's this one just here. This one just here. <clears throat> okay. And then we have another one. This one, sorry, this one was tested, price move away. But notice up here, we had an area that was tested and then prices went through it where did prices go to prices went to let's zoom in a little bit where do we go here prices go see we have to put this on properly because this is a it's a very small area okay so prices this is the bar that went through the zone okay this is the bar that went through the zone so the origin of that bar is where it's here right there, the low of that bar. 
what does price come to? Pretty much to that area. We have some wicks, so we have a little bit of scattered um, like distribution of pooling pooling here. You know, like if you want to, um, the reason this happens is, I mean, if I have, if I want to get in here and prices are coming down, <clears throat> I want to make sure that I get filled. And so I'm going to put some orders a little bit above. And then of course, um, um, these will get filled first. So these are like the small, um, the small testers to see if there's an appetite to, to draw prices higher. Uh, and there often is, and there was here because we tested the wick. So we are actually able to poke into these little areas here and that was sufficient. So we did not have to go into the meat of this area here. We just came to the upper edge of it and that was sufficient. Okay, so now you can see here, we can't see it on this one, but you can see right here, testing, testing, testing. Okay, what area remove that this one right here take this I don't know where that area I can't even see it but we can we can move something like that okay okay so this is probably a price sensitive area in the in, in the future we'll find that in a minute when we get there but here we have this one here tested 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 oh and then we finally broke down but during that period of breakdown we formed some other areas, tested, tested. Now it's gone. What area removed that? This area did just here, just here. Okay, tested. Now it's gone. What area removed that? Well, this candle did right there. So we have the established buy zone right there. <clears throat> this is price sensitive. We have a nice departure so now the buy zone is right there because this is the furthest back price could come to this area um, and and move away so that's great so that's a future reference point for us and now prices begin to uh, to wriggle higher okay so now we can do the same thing over and over again so we need to see see this isn't there's nothing here for us but what we do see just here we have a little zone Just here, tested what area removed it. And this one right here did. <clears throat> Price tested once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times. Which is the candle that moves through it? It's this candle right here. So this is our target. So this will be price sensitive in the future. Um, and this. Here we have that zone that we had just a second ago, a buy zone. Okay, so we could expect prices to come oops, just here. And they come to that area, to the pip. Okay, we had a little reaction there. Okay, and then price tore through it. So now this area here is gone. So we have to move that. We can remove this. Okay, so now... Actually, I've got to mark off where that area was. Right there. Okay, so this it's here. So this is the beginning of the sell zone. Delete that one. This is price sensitive area for the future. <clears throat> it's, a bit, it's a bit of a shame that the charts kind of snap up, but where does price go to? Here, to the pit. We tear through this one here, not before having a reaction. Let's go back. <laughs> All these bloody lines. They confuse me. All right. So we have a test and then we remove that area. So let me see. So this one is now gone. Now we go over here. Hopefully that's the right one. Yes. Let me remove the one below because that one is also gone. But we need to know where it occurred. This is one that tested several times. I'm going to take the bottom bit so I don't lose that price. Sorry if I'm doing this in a kind of a, a silly way. Just want to move. Okay, so <coughs> excuse me. This is the bar that went through it right here, this one here. Sell zone, and this is kind of a big one, so we could mark it off like that. Where does price go to? To that area. 
Okay, we test it once, twice, several times we move away. In the meantime, we have another area just here. We can't see it, just in the overlap here. Okay, tested, tested. What bar goes through it? This one does. Oh, you, that's debatable because you close, and again, this is not a very precise area, but we could say that this is where the buy zone was established. So we could say that this is the area, the origin, and the buy, the buy zone is here. Okay, so this is the price sensitive area for future reference. Price has not come to the demand. It stops at the buy zone. I'll remove that. Price goes here. What happens to it? It's removed. What area removes it? This candle right there. So you move this here. Put it like that. Excuse me. Price tests that area. Okay, this one here was tested. Had a massive test. And now this candle whoosh, removed it. So this is the area right there. Tested. Price moves away. What candle removes it? Well, we don't. You see, there's only wicks there below. Let's make it absolutely perfect. Don't have any closes below. So I'd say this is the candle that m removes it. So we're going to go from here to here. Okay. So this is where. This is one that goes through. Price almost reaches it but we reach the edge of that area of supply. Just in the example I showed before, where often in case you'll find that people are cascading orders, orders around these areas, not exactly on these areas, because sometimes you want to ensure that you get a fill and you can't ensure that you're going to get filled at the best price always. You also have to uh, take slightly worse prices sometimes. Okay, so now, now this one is gone. Um, actually, let's make sure, let's just go like that above the area. Okay, we managed to move beyond it where uh, this one here. So this low of this candle right there is where the buy zone is. We kind of sit on that area for a little while and then we break through. But here we have a, a parent-child relationship. Here we have the parent. Here we have the child. We had a child reaction right there. What area moved through it? Um, if we take the whole zone... We didn't really move through it until down here, but this is just distribution kind of gnawing away at liquidity. So you'd want to, in a situation like that, you want to try and find the slightly clearer swings. And we have those here. Okay, this is what we have. And so the one that went through it, that went through and was able to hold below is, which one is that? Well, that's this one here. I mean, this is that one right there. And so you would say that this is the origin of the move. Here we have a candle that kind of went up and then went down, which also removed the lows here. Price tested that, and now prices are wriggling south. Um, this one here is gone. Let's move it over so we can refer to that. I'm just going to remove that. We'll start from here. Okay, so this one was tested. Price has moved away beautifully. We have, what time is this? This is this is out of session, so thin, a gappy liquidity. Price has managed to go up to that one more time. And now let me remove all of these, or as many as I can. And then we have something that I like. Um, you can see test. Let me use a line, maybe it's easier. We have a test here, test here. Okay, so if you're focusing on, on the volume here, I mean, you could see that we're kind of around here. Okay, so we'll put it here. I actually, just looking at this, I prefer this here because this is like, this is this is nice. I like this because here we have kind of the, the, the distribution candles and then we have the cutaway that removed um, whatever it is that's inside here. We go to the absolute low, you can see, sorry, the absolute detail, you can see there's something in here. And I can see there, move it away so you can see, because of the wicks. And so what's actually going on inside that little price structure, uh, just here, is this. <clears throat> Prices are going up. So we have a candle that goes up. And then it goes down. It can go down in any number of ways. It goes down. And then it goes up. And so what have we done here? We've actually 
transformed micro supply that was tested and now it's gone so there's something in here that is demand that we could consider for future reference all right let me go boop, 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 remove these for us and you can see that prices kind of went not exactly but roughly to where that pullback was so the area where prices were able to move through we tested and then we went up now this one removed it okay so this is the one that removed it this candle here we got up to the area almost then we moved away but there's a there's a lot of other patterns in here that we'll look at as well <clears throat> just a second but we we had a test and another test but down here we also have something going on where we had same kind of thing an attempt failure so here we have the sell zone that is established right there prices go a bit deeper so now the sell zone is higher it's in the area of supply and now it's gone the origin of the move that removed that is where right here kind of the open of that candle future reference point okay this one this one is now gone what area cut through it this one did move this it's this little tiny pokey area tested tested remove the area that did it this candle went through it tested 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 the car the candle that went through it um this one again it's not clear is it so if we go back and do uh do this we kind of have something like this <clears throat> excuse me okay so the air the one that went through it is kind of the origin of this move this is the close above the air so we would put it down here this is here we have that same pattern i just drew over here where candle goes up and then down and then up and so the low of this candle is a slingshot the buy zone and it goes to here okay prices respect that area but also notice i mean these are everywhere we have this tested tested so what happened exactly in here something happened in here we tested so we have supply we have supply strong enough to to keep the buying pressure at bay we try we fail we try we fail this is a candle that moves through the origin of it is here this is where prices go to we remove that area okay this is a candle that goes through it okay prices remove that area this is a candle that does that and we move away okay here we have a turning point prices do indeed move through that here but it doesn't happen until we get up here we have an attempt then prices gap lower and then we move higher um, <clears throat> okay let's have a look we've got we've got something here a wick tested removed the origin of that move that's a bit of a tricky one eh? a bit messy there's no clear swing so we'll go like this Okay, so the origin of that is is up here, but that's not very that's not very clear. So we'll leave that one alone. But we have many many different ones in here. So we've got this one here. Tested, tested, tested. Prices go below. We originate from here. Move down, and we have something in here as well. We can't see what it is on this time frame. Tested, tested, tested. Accumulation, and we tear through it. The origin of that move is right there. Tested, tested, tested. This one holds. Okay, but we also have, I'll leave that one on there. We also have this one here. Okay, which is tested, fails. This one goes up, but here we have a huge departure. Okay, so the origin of the candle that moves through this is actually down here and I would actually in fact use this pullback because this is what I refer to as a slingshot which you guys all all know about okay and here we have testing a lot of trading on the area there prices trade through 
they trade where do they trade through they actually trade through from here you know what this is one of those ones when you kind of scratch your head a little bit you can get all like over complicate things but what I would do is I would just look for the very clear places where we had price coming down into this little area here we go up we go down we, we move up and we move lower and so I would take this one and attach it to that one like that <clears throat> okay tested tested still in play the air that removed it is actually kind of this candle there but it's kind of the origin would be somewhere in here so I would take this one and I would do something like that okay so we tested these highs again placing orders at the edge of these areas testing testing and we finally tear through it the origin of the move or the area of supply or demand that removed it is here so I just like put something like that so this one here this one's gone delete we have this one okay um, then we have these ones this one here was tested now it's gone I'm just going to remove that we could mark off where prices went to and they went to I just put something like that there and this one is gone prices kind of sat on the area you can notice that they don't they don't they often don't tear through them they kind of sit on there and they start to digest the, the available liquidity on the opposing side of the market they kind of gnaw through you can see the imbalance occurred at last and then we cut through so it doesn't happen uh, always that fast this one was destroyed it was probably tested before oh that's this one here Here, where are we yeah okay so prices go down and then we managed to turn around here but there's no like big race up and then a snap back so I wouldn't I probably wouldn't do a whole lot there just for the sake of example let's mark it off we had it here testing 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 this is a candle that went through it so the low of that candle of the body it's around here somewhere tested 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 now it's gone the candle that went through is here tested now removed by what by this candle here okay tested on the blue candle it went deeper away finally removed by this one here tested it's gone now isn't it the area that did it oops is this candle it's going to mark off this whole area because we this is the space we want to look at we had a test here test 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 and this one held okay we saw an onboarding of a new liquidity here we had a test of this area wherever that one is let me go back that was this one here you remove it is that the right one yes no <laughs> okay let me mark all of these off and then I'll put this one back okay okay so that's gone so here we have just a little period of what time is that that's late uh, GMT so that's kind of that's the morning for me so this is probably the Asian session here for me um, prices do, doesn't do a whole lot and then we slowly start to move away but you could notice here that we do have kind of these price price windows around here okay see so we can and we have a test 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 we move through it the origin of the move that moved through it is is here actually we have to do it properly because this is a zone we'll just mark off the whole zone this is I'm gonna do this one here because this is above this distribution so the liquidity is here price keeps tapping into it so this is where we would want to look in the future we go um, yeah we're testing 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 and now it's finally gone where does price actually go to before it before it moves through it <clears throat> it actually goes to I won't draw it it'll get too cluttered but this is a candle that closes above so this is a base here that we form micro demand prices go up we test it once twice we have a run 
we move into the cell zone so here we have we have this here we have actually uh, like a multi-phase uh, distribution where we have a, a different uh, decreasing levels of distribution here as you can see as these lows get lower um, okay this is where we have that there um, and then you can see here I mean the breakaway the longer candles departing I and mean, that's pretty much where this comes back to and here we have software draws this area of supply here it was tested left we have another one here it was tested and the candle that actually cut through it is this one this candle here is the one that moved through these micro demand here this is kind of a messy one here price comes back to that roughly this one is gone let's see about the other one okay this one here sees a bit of pressure from this price structure just here let's mark the whole thing off we test it once twice and we move through it okay so the area that moved through it is which one it's this candle here this one we go like that tested now the candles have moved and the area that did it ooh, is this one just here so this would be where we'd expect prices to react in the future so we'll wait and see but um that's 30 over 30 minutes so I'm gonna stop now but I hope this is a, an interesting video I really like doing it this way because it really enables you to run through a ton of examples um, and this helps I think kind of reiterate, reiterate the material over and over and over again so I hope this is helpful if you have any questions please let me know thanks once again for watching